storm did not quite behave as it was meant to behave. Unlike the British Army, it did not travel in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> as my brother told me at the time. Oh, Mr. Adam. Doctor. Uh, Dr. Rush has been telling me that he has bled most of Philadelphia. Hmm. He quite swears by the regenerative powers of desanguination. Uh, thus far, Philadelphia has survived. Yes, now, <laughs> private word with you, Doctor. Oh, certainly. Uh, Mr. Adams, gentlemen, if you'll... Uh, if uh, you'll excuse me. Mr. Rodney. Rush. You seem a little distracted, Mr. Adams. I had thought that you were with us. As I am. As I am. But not enough to come out and say so. Politics is the art of the possible. What did you get by opposing the motion? It was carried with or without you. All you did was make enemies. And, and make yourself feel better, of course. Do you not believe in saying what you think? No, I'm very much against it. Thinking aloud is a habit responsible for much of mankind's misery. St. Thomas a Beckett might have lived to a ripe old age if he... <laughs> you insulted Mr. Dickinson. You insulted him in public. Would you have me insult him in private? It's perfectly acceptable to insult someone in private. Sometimes they might even thank you for it afterwards. But when you do it in public, they tend to think you are serious. myself hated in this town. Go gently. I beg you. Y you are a, a guest in Philadelphia. Fish and guests stink after three days. <laughs> you would do well to seek out the gentleman of Virginia. They have vote one against me as well. No, Virginia must be one, Mr. Adams. Mm. Their, their wealth, prestige, their size, no other colony carries that much weight. And I think you find, despite their recent vote, that they are of your opinion. And of your opinion, sir? <laughs> My opinion is that I have no opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'll gladly come with you. To find out what my opinion might be. This is rather strange. Uh... Hello? Hello, Dr. Franklin? Bonjour. Monsieur! Mr. Adams. Ah, welcome. Dr. Franklin. Well, you, you forgive me if I don't rise. Oh. Uh, uh, I trust your crossing was uneventful. Uh, uh, this is my secretary, Mr. Bancroft. Mr. Adams. And this is Monsieur uh, Houdon, the celebrated sculptor. Bonjour. Uh, oh, my uh, son, John Quincy. Well, well. Fine boy. Thank you, sir. Uh, I shall rely upon your judgment as to a proper school for him. Why, all of Paris is a schoolmaster, Adams. Young man need only avail himself of the lessons. <laughs> Excuse me. Could you keep the pause, Dr. Franklin? A, a moment, Monsieur Houdon. S'il vous plaît, je veux parler uh, avec mon ami. Uh, have you ever been sculpted, uh, <laughs> Mr. Adams? Uh, no, sir. No. No, I've uh, never been one for sitting still. Oh, well, you may sit still uh, presently. General Johnny Burgoyne has done all the uh, negotiations necessary when he blundered into Saratoga with his 7,000 redcoats. The treaty with France is, as the Parisians say, uh, a fait accompli. The treaty? I... 
Ah, va, va, va. Why was I not told of this? Doctor, I have not braved the Atlantic in the middle of the winter and been pursued by the British. Please travel slowly over the ocean. Well, I, I, a treaty, that, a treaty. Um, what kind of a treaty, sir? What are the details? Well, they have declared themselves our, our ally and pledged to stand in our defense. <laughs> Yes, how much provision is made for naval support? And uh, 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 what of our joint venture? Uh, no doubt uh, you, you require a, a bath, <laughs> Mr. Adams. The French set great store by hygiene when it comes to other nations. Yes. Uh, our mission here requires expedition, Doctor. No, no we, <laughs> here in France, you must practice the art of accomplishing much while appearing to accomplish little. <laughs> uh, well, I intend to secure an audience with King Louis at the earliest opportunity. He and I clearly have much to discuss. You do not demand an audience at Versailles, Mr. Adams. One is invited. Excuse me. Please, Dr. Franklin, could you keep your chin up? Mm. Comme ça. Good. Is it your purpose to destroy everything we've accomplished? To engineer the recall of the fleet under Admiral Destain? Or is this some new kind of uh, diplomatic initiative? The, the direct insult followed by the petulant whine. What are you thinking of? A good diplomat, Mr. Adams, observes much, acts little, and speaks softly. The, uh, the Comte de Vergennes means to keep his hand beneath our chin, to prevent us from drowning, but not to keep our heads above the water. Have you learn nothing, Mr. Adams, if you continue to exasperate and antagonize these people. As I did in Philadelphia, and we declared independence, your call. In Philadelphia, we negotiated independence. Well, you may be as patient and accommodating as you like, Doctor. But for myself, I will not voluntarily put on the chains of France while I am struggling to throw off those of Great Britain.